I'm getting roasted from over by you guys. Get a shotgun. Out of here. Oh my. I'm sorry. He had a shotgun. Oh my. Dead. Out of our lobby, kids. <clears throat> Dead another UF for us. You just rest. I'm coming in from the top. A shotgun, man. Got roasted. It's one shot. <laughs> me. I'm acting out of I'm trying to work up to you, but it's gonna be kind of a tough push. Maybe not <laughs> all in there on you. He's on me. He's on me. Good, <laughs> bro. <clears throat> he got. Yeah, he just rocked me. Looks like one might be coming up. Was. Two tapped him. <gasps> Bro, he was so mad. What's up, guys? Today I'm bringing you the best build for the Street Sweeper in Call of Duty Warzone. Now, the Street Sweeper is a shotgun that came out with Season 1 of the Cold War integration into Warzone. And let me tell you, this thing is one of my favorite guns, if not my favorite gun to use in Warzone right now. And I know what y'all are thinking. Most of us don't want to deal with another shotgun meta, but I'm telling you what, this thing is super fun to use and it is very heavily slept on. I only see it, you know, once or twice a match, maybe laying on the ground, if ever at all. And I've been wiping through squads like crazy with this thing. All right, so let's discuss the Street Sweeper firsthand here from what we see. Uh, it is described as a full auto shotgun, fastest fire rate in class with larger ammo pool, reduced damage with reliable weapon control. And while I agree with a lot of these things, there are a lot of upsides to the Street Sweeper, but there are also some pretty, uh, what do I say, noticeable downsides to the Street Sweeper as well. As you can see, the Street Sweeper came out with the Season 1 Black Ops integration and has been here for a few weeks. And I know there's a few people that have done videos on it already, but I wanted to give my video a little bit of time to kind of mature and settle and uh, figure out what best is to run on this weapon and figure out how best to, to use this weapon since uh, it was so new. Um, I know a lot of people have been uh, running this and getting some high kill games and showing off their footage, but... I've had a lot of really good consistent results. Now the Street Sweeper itself has to be unlocked in a specific way in either Black Ops Cold War or in Warzone. So the way you unlock it is getting three kills with the shotgun without dying in 15 different matches. There's one thing I really, really want to stress to you all is that you can't use the same method that you used in the past to unlock weapons, which is going into a match, finishing your challenge, leaving it and repeating that step-by-step -step process every single time. So you can't go to a match and just leave after you've gotten the three shotgun kills without dying, or it will not record. So, so what happens is you'll go through all of your matches, finish out the gun, and on my screen it popped up telling me that I unlocked the Street Sweeper. I went back, restarted the game uh, to use it, and my counter for all of the matches went back down to three out of 15. To me is I would get my three kills, leave the match, go into a new match, get my three kills, leave the match, go into a new match. And I did that until I got 15. The gun showed up as an unlock. It showed up as it was unlocked. It told me I had it, but when I went back to equip the weapon, it was grayed out saying I couldn't equip it. So what's happening is the game is not tracking the stat if you leave the game early. So do not leave the game early when you're trying to unlock the Street Sweeper. My best advice is to go into Black Ops Cold War if you have it and run Team Deathmatch. Each Team Deathmatch match is uh, usually around five to six minutes in time. So it's gonna take you about an hour and a half to two hours to unlock the Street Sweeper at a bare minimum. If you're someone that only plays Warzone and does not have access to Cold War, I recommend Plunder. And uh, sometimes those games can go pretty quick and you're not as pressured to get the three kills in a row without dying like you are in Warzone, which has a lot more pressure to it. 
And once you unlock the Street Sweeper shotgun, you're definitely gonna wanna put attachments on it because this thing is not gonna hit nearly as hard with, uh, without the attachments. So my recommended method of getting your weapon to the maximum level of 36 is dropping into plunder and using uh, contracts, whether that be the recon contract on the train, riding that all the way around with your squad and getting uh, recon contract after recon contract, or dropping in, grabbing a chopper and doing supply runs over and over and over again. You're gonna get a ton of experience very quick and you're gonna level this guy up quick as well. What I do recommend though, in the beginning of the plunder game, make sure you pop a double XP token on your gun because that's going to level it up extra quick. So the Street Sweeper itself is an extremely powerful close range shotgun, which is fully automatic. And when you're holding down the trigger, this thing can shoot at about 300 rounds per minute, which is insane for a shotgun. While it's a lot like the Jack 12, I feel it hits a bit harder. Since the Diamatis have been nerfed, this, in my opinion, is the king of the close range. If you keep your shots within five to 10 meters, you're gonna take somebody down in two to three shots with stopping power and three to five shots without stopping power. We're gonna go ahead and go through the best build that I recommend for the Street Sweeper so you can dominate the war zone. I'm gonna go through each attachment on Street Sweeper and let you know exactly what one to choose to make this thing a monster. That being said, guys, this is the build that I use personally and have been using for about two weeks now. And the Street Sweeper is my absolute favorite uh, secondary right now to run. First up is the agency choke on the muzzle. What this is going to do is going to add sound suppression, which is great for keeping you off the radar and war zone and also adds a little bit to that damage range profile. So you'll be hitting a little further out. It'll probably give you anywhere from two to three more meters of uh, effective damage range. I haven't seen it go anywhere past that uh, versus some of these other uh, chokes. I would very, very, very much so stay away from uh, the V choke and the duck build choke with the wider pellet spread. They're not gonna do anything for you and they actually hurt you quite a bit. And what you're gonna notice with the agency choke as well too is it doesn't actually choke the bullets down. Normally when I think of choke, right, that's gonna be either how wide or tight the pellet spread is. Um, the agency choke doesn't actually choke down any of the bullets anymore. So it doesn't make it any, uh, any, any more close of a shot than uh, any of the other uh, chokes or regulators or anything else on the other uh, side of the muzzle. So it's really just gonna be damage range and the sound suppression. So it's gonna extend it out a little further and quiet it down. That is it on the muzzle. The 13.3 hammer forged barrel. This one throughout testing has given us actually the best results um, as opposed to any of these other. I've seen some people running the 13 inch reinforced heavy that gives you the effective damage range and fire rate. But on all of the Cold War weapons, each one of these barrels and many of the other stats aren't really shown and a lot of them are hidden or secret so from testing and looking at all the other youtubers that are giving us stats based on the barrels themselves the 13 3 13.3 hammer forged barrel is the way to go from what i've seen in our testing all right guys we're going to jump into the barrels of the street sweeper and i'll let you know what one to pick here I always run the 13.3 inch hammer forged, which gives you the absolute best fire rate. Uh, in my opinion, right now in the current state of the street sweeper in the, the game itself, fire rate is going to be king, especially if you're using this gun within the five to 10 meter range, like I'm recommending. Uh, all of these barrels have incorrect information or information that doesn't actually match up with what's going on in game. Like the effective damage range here on the 14.6 Ranger or the 13 inch reinforced heavy, these guys actually do not increase uh, the, the damage at range and it actually takes more hits at distance compared to uh, some of these other barrels. The damage range on the 14.4 inch task force actually did nothing more. It still took the same amount of shots regardless of distance. The 13.3 inch hammer forged we can see that this one specifically through our testing has given us the absolute best fire rate possible. So you wanna get more shots on target as quickly as you can, especially when you're in very close quartered gunfights where uh, you know milliseconds matter and more shots on target matter. So go with the 13.3 inch hammer forge. You're not gonna be disappointed. Next up is the laser slot. I use the SWAT five milliwatt laser sight and this is a little strange because when I think of choke, I think of those bullets tightening up. 
the laser sight is exactly that. The laser sight actually tightens that spread of bullet up versus uh, allowing it to be more open. When we have the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser, it tightens up those rounds like a choke would. So I always recommend going with this uh, SWAT 5 milliwatt laser versus some of these other ones. These other ones are going to leave, like the steady aim laser, it's going to leave a wider pellet spread. Um, and I think the 5 milliwatt still has a really decent uh, pellet spread, but if you're accurate or you're just even spraying in an area in front of you off the hip, you're going to hit everything already, plus it's going to have a tight pellet spread. So always go with the SWAT 5 milliwatt. Next up is the ammunition slot on the Street Sweeper, and this is one of the biggest drawbacks and one of the biggest positives of the Street Sweeper itself. So. I always recommend running the Stanag 18 round drum here. So the 15 round and the 18 round drum from what we've seen through testing do not give you any movement speed decreases and it doesn't really mess with anything else on a negative side. It says reload quickness has gone down, but this gun takes so long to reload anyway because every single bullet needs to be pushed into the drum manually. That drum does not come out of the gun, so you can't just rip the drum off, put a new one in. You have to load every shell in manually, and it literally takes 18 to 20 seconds per full reload. So this might actually be one of the longest reloads in COD history. So it is painful to, 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 to say the least to get this thing reloaded. So go with the 18 rounds to have 18 rounds to fire at someone. Those three extra rounds over the 15 could be the difference between life or death in this. Last up is the marathon stock and the marathon stock here gives you uh, sprinting move speed, shooting move speed, sprint to fire time, aim walking movement speed, but it comes at a decrease to hip fire accuracy, which I have not really ever noticed. The marathon stock makes you run really fast with this street sweeper. So it makes you feel like you're running more along the lines of like an SMG movement speed. So you can uh, finesse people, run around corners, slide, jump, do whatever craziness you need to do with your uh, movement. Be like Joe Woe and uh, fly everywhere and nuke everything around you. So I recommend the Marathon stock, even though it is a big, heavy, bulky stock, it actually makes you run way faster and have much better movement speed. There's really nothing else inside of any of these other stock slots that even come close to uh, what the Marathon stock can provide as far as movement speed. I do not recommend running any optic on the Street Sweeper. There's no reason. You're gonna be using this exclusively off the hip. You really have no reason to aim down sight. It doesn't really give you that much of an advantage aiming down sight. So always use that little red laser, fire off the hip and get right up into people's faces. Like I said, five to 10 meters at most. All of the rear grip slots don't do anything for you. Um, you don't really need to drop shot with this. You do not need any type of ADS enhancements. So completely forget about the rear grip slot. There's absolutely no reason to use it at all whatsoever. Here are some tips to use the street sweeper effectively. Stay within five to 10 meters and always only take fights that are close up. Do not try to use this gun at distance because it will not work and you're gonna have a really bad time. Pay attention to the round count currently in the drum magazine at all times. If it gets below 10, you're in the danger zone. Less than 10 rounds means you're not gonna be able to take out three members of a team, leaving you vulnerable because the reload time is ridiculous. Like I said earlier, 18 full seconds to reload this. Anytime you have a partial mag and you're able to get out of danger to reload, make sure you reload your mag and top it off all the way at that 18 rounds. Always make sure to run amped. So if someone's charging you and you're in the middle of a reload, you can swap weapons back and forth really quick to get your gun out faster instead of trying to reload and then fire. Sliding into a room while firing really helps as well. Also be aware the noise that the gun makes when it reloads. It takes forever to reload and it's actually really loud when you're reloading it because you have to move the chamber every single time you're putting a shell in. So this gun is super loud when reloading and it can give your position away really easy. So if you're uh, say in a hallway and you're sneaking up on somebody or if you're using dead silence and you're sneaking up on somebody and you need to reload, make sure you do that away from any enemies because they can absolutely hear this reload. It's really, really loud. I recommend using the Street Sweeper as a secondary weapon in an overkill loadout. The first weapon I suggest using is either a sniper rifle for extreme long range, an assault rifle, which is gonna be best for mid-range engagements, 
And I do not really recommend running an SMG with a Street Sweeper because they're both very close range weapons. After you've gotten the overkill loadout, grab a ghost of whatever you'd like to make sure you're ghosted and then start tearing people apart. All right, guys, if you like this type of video where I give you a full build breakdown and exactly what to run on this, how to run it with some tips and tricks on the weapon itself, please subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting those updates and get the videos right away as soon as they come out. Like the video, it helps with the algorithm, helps getting uh, the video to the right places to the right people that need to see this. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the war zone.